going on guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to be explaining what DJI Master Wheels and DJI Force Pro are. Now just a quick disclaimer, I don't have any hands-on footage for you in this video as they were just released yesterday at NAB 2018 and I was not able to attend. Also, they are designed to be used for professional cinema use, along with the Ronin 2, the Ronin S, and some other third-party systems. They're very expensive, and while they can't be used with any of DJI's drones, I still like to cover any groundbreaking tech on this channel and try to make sense of it, especially if it has to do with camera equipment. All of the information that I'll be sharing with you guys were taken from multiple sources. I'll be linking those down in the description if you want to kind of take a further look at Master Wheels and Focus Pro. But I think that that about covers it, so let's get into it. So what is DJI Master Wheels and DJI Force Pro? Well, the short answer to that is these are two separate platforms used for remotely controlling gimbals. Usually when you're controlling a gimbal, whether it be a little Osmo Mobile or a regular Osmo or even up to the Ronin series, you're going to be using your body, your arms uh, to kind of move around and get the shot. But if you have that mounted, then the only way to really control that is through a remote platform like these two different things, Master Wheels and Force Pro. Let's break things up here by starting to go over Master Wheels. Here is a photo of the wheels from DJI's Twitter account, and if you ask me, it looks like an unfinished product, like it's sort of rough looking. Nonetheless, this is a very unique device that is powered by a DJI TB50 battery, the same used in the Inspire 2 series. It delivers up to 18 hours of battery life, so it appears that this device isn't really all that power hungry. Taking another look at the Master Wheels, this time off of DJI's website, we get a better feel for the control that we can have over a gimbal. There are three high precision weighted wheels made of stainless steel that allow you to control the pan, tilt, and roll of the gimbal, each wheel having its own motion control. With high resolution optical encoders, wheel movement information is sent to the gimbal. The transmission system used in Master Wheels is a wireless dual band signal operating over 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz with a range of 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles. This offers super low latency as short as 10 milliseconds for precise camera control and the design of the transmitter is modular. So you can remove it. In fact, basically everything about Master Wheels is modular, which is interesting because it seems that DJI continues to go down this modular road with their professional level equipment, but not with their consumer level equipment. So it'd be interesting to see if in the future they begin to make their lower level, less expensive drones modular. In terms of modular pieces, the transmitter and each of the wheels can come detached from that single control module, and some people may be wondering what the benefit to this is. So let's say you have the control module set up in the studio and you're getting some bad interference from there. You can connect it via a wire, the transmitter, and move it across the studio, so maybe from there you'll get a better signal. And the same thing kind of goes with the wheels. You can take one wheel off, move it over to the side, and have someone else controlling that, so you're not all huddling around this one little control panel. Back to the controls, each wheel has a specific knob to tune the speed and sensitivity on the fly. There are plenty of customizable buttons on the control module as well and input and outputs. Finally, something that is very interesting, you can record a certain set of movements using the wheels and then replay that exact motion as many times as you want. When shooting, this would allow you to take multiple takes with the press of a button, having the gimbal and master wheels basically do all of the work for you. To wrap up Master Wheels, let's talk about the price. And do you guys remember how in the beginning of this video I said that all these devices were expensive? Yeah, so Master Wheels, all three wheels, the whole kit and caboodle is $8,000. If you just opt to go with two wheels, it's going to be $6,000. And for one single wheel and the control module, it's $2,500. So that basically covers Master Wheels. Now let's move on to Force Pro, which I actually didn't even hear about until DJI released their introductory video, like I heard no rumors or speculation. Now Force Pro isn't a crazy looking device like Master Wheels. In fact, it almost looks like an old cell phone. That was my first impression. To describe how Force Pro works, I think it would just be easier to show you. Basically, it mimics your movements and then sends them to the gimbal and camera. You notice this whole rig that the guy in the video is using, so all of that would be needed along with Force Pro. The actual device that is given this name is just that small telephone looking thing. When I first watched this video, I was sitting at school watching it on my phone and my eyes opened. I mean, the technology in this device looks so cool. And if you guys are familiar with camera equipment, uh, you know, cinema grade camera equipment, it's very heavy, very bulky, and you could get tired after a while of holding it. But if we take a quick freeze frame from that video, do you guys see how light the rig is that is taking up the movement information and then sending it to the actual gimbal and camera setup? This would probably make a cameraman very happy. 
Now, if you don't have that full rig to set up to kind of move around any which way that you want, you can also mount Force Pro on a tripod and pan left or right to make the camera move along with you. To synchronize and record the movements of the operator, Force Pro has a built-in IMU and compass like we're used to seeing on DJI's drones. And to transmit this wirelessly, it uses the same wireless transmission system as Master Wheels that operates over 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz and delivers low latency at around 10 milliseconds. If there's any sort of interference on set, you could also connect the gimbal directly via a canvas cable, although if you're looking to be moving around with the gimbal rig, it might get annoying and you might have to watch out for that cable. Just a few miscellaneous specs to sort of wrap up Force Pro. The internal battery can hold 4,750 milliamp hours for 5 hours of shooting and can be recharged with USB Type-C. I like to see that DJI. Also moving on, it has a small OLED screen in the center and around the body is plenty of inputs and outputs. So yeah, that's about it. Force Pro is a lot less complicated than Master Wheels, but I think that with Master Wheels, it's going to be a little bit more precise. The price on the Force Pro is a little bit less money than the Master Wheels. Actually, I guess a lot less money. It's only $1,200, but again, you're going to need all that extra equipment like tripods, uh, also probably a whole rig if you want to get the full, you know, I guess use out of the Force Pro. But again, only $1,200, so it really won't break the bank like the Master Wheels. Both of these platforms are available today for pre-order April 10th, 2018. They literally just went on pre-order today if you guys want to go and check them out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave me a comment letting me know what you think of these two platforms, Master Wheels and Force Pro. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.